Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so let me just present this work. Yeah, so I think a lot of you, if you don't know, have probably been wondering. So, like, obviously, we need some new offensive line coaches. Uh, so, basically, not offensive line. What did I say? Offensive line? I said D line. I'd say, so basically, these are basically my top units for defensive line. Only five. I don't really like to do go and stream and basically be like, now these, um, now number five, you know, number five is basically the least likely candidate, but would still be actually a pretty good candidate for defensive line. And then it just kind of goes up, maybe some candidates that are more suitable. So not suitable, but more possibly going to happen. So Charles Haley, five spot. Charles Haley has not played football in a long time, but Charles Haley was when he played in Dallas was a very, 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 very good defensive end for us. Now, did he have a loud mouth and his personality was questionable? Yeah, absolutely. But he was still a very good dominant football for the Cowboys. And I just think, you know, he would just be a great guy that I think would get along with the football players and definitely give a sense of character for that defensive line that I feel like the Cowboys have lost all along. And there is many other Cowboys, you know, that... I think, you know, could really do this. But Charles Haley definitely is not a bad candidate. I think it's going to happen. No, but it's always good to think about, you know, maybe guys like him to come in here that have been in this organization for a long time. And what it's not a realm of possibility. I mean, he's been in the Jerry Jones, you know, when Jerry Jones actually first became the owner. So it's not far out of the question of him becoming a defensive line coach. It's just really, I think he's more of a family man now, and I just don't really think he wants to, you know, really go do any coaching or anything. Because I think there are some players that just prefer to not coach. But that is my number five. Then number four is Marcus Spears. Marcus Spears was in, um, basically an interior D lineman for us. He was a very solid guy. When he came and played for Dallas, he was actually one of the first round draft picks um, behind a guy that's actually on this list. This was just a very solid cowboy, and I just think would be a perfect candidate for this um, team. I think, you know, Marcus, as yet again, is another guy that was part of this organization. Very big, crucial guy in that defense. And I think, you know, we just need guys that know and have played the game of football such as Marcus Spears does. He was in the interior defensive lineman. He knows discipline. He knows how to go in there and disrupt that offense. I think we need guys like him that have played the sport and know the technique to make these young guys be better football players. And I think Marcus Spears is a, a perfect candidate. Now, he's another option, but it's not a high possible chance of us getting him. He's been doing a sports casting recently, but that does mean it's out of the realm of possibility. I mean, I've seen many guys that have gone out of sports casting and then got hired by a football team. Hey, perfect example, John Gruden. John Gruden was in sports casting before he actually then got his 10-year, $100 million contract from the Las Vegas Raiders. It is not out of the realm of possibility. And it's not like broadcasting it is a permanent job in there. So it's a possible chance... But not as big of a chance as these probably other three here. Number three is Jason Hatcher. Now, that's a name that I've, I bet a lot of you have not heard for a long time. Jason was on the Washington football team when he barely played a season with them. Um, and obviously, Jason Hatcher lost a lot of what he did in Dallas when he went to Washington. Um, they thought, you know, he was going to come into Washington and be as dominant as he was in Dallas, and he just really wasn't. But that doesn't mean he was a bad player at all. He was a very good defensive player for us, and actually did a lot of what that defense was. I remember when I started first watching football and when Jason Hatcher was still in the Cowboys, and he was actually pretty solid. He wasn't great by any means. He was definitely out of his prime, but he was really good and solid for Dallas still. And I just think he's another guy that I think would just go in there and know what to do. And I think he would know how to teach these guys the technique of playing football. And that's why I think you'll notice a lot of guys I like to pick. Guys that have played the sport and probably can have some knowledge to pass down to these young guys that have just been new in the league and don't know how to really play. 
not how to play football, but they don't know how to play National Football League football. They've just been known to these certain techniques in college, and they just don't know how to involve in the NFL with all these offensive linemen that are either bigger or stronger than them. And I think guys like these that have like probably dealt with some very big offensive linemen in their own time probably can get better in their technique and in their time. So Jason Hatch is another one in here that I think would be a perfect guy to teach these guys how to be disciplined and how to get through that offensive line. Um, now, he is not a high possibility of being a defensive line coach. Um, he hasn't done anything in a long time. Uh, he's pretty much been off the radar. So I don't even know if the Cowboys even have like contact with him. Um, but I just don't Yeah, but I think he's a little bit more likely than Charles Haley and probably a tad bit like, more likely than Marcus Spears. Um, but still not high enough for me that I think he would be signed to be the defensive line coach for the Cowboys. Um, but, you know, you never know. I mean, it's going to be interesting what... Um, what's going to be seen. So, number two. Now, number two is going to be a little bit of a controversy. Greg Williams. People, I think, will be basically scoffing when they look at this one. But I did look a little bit in Greg Williams. And Greg Williams has had past histories with some Magic teams that have been noticeable. The St. Louis Rams, for example, when they were in St. Louis. But we're about to transition to L.A. And, you know, when he kind of he did help build that team from, like, having Robert Quinn and having... You know, pretty much a pretty good defense in Aaron Donald. And he did actually was with the Saints for a time, which the Saints 